Monday Night at Maury's continues, and we're joined now by Chris Smith uh, out of Midlothian, Virginia, and two kickoff returns for touchdowns in the game against Brown on Saturday. Talk, talk about one at a time. Let's talk about the first one, <laughs> and uh, w w tell us about that first kickoff return, TD. Well, I mean, I felt like we needed some uh, momentum, and uh, I went out there, and we've actually been talking about it for a while, how we really want to put one in the end zone, and uh, the whole kickoff return team really talked about it, and uh, I made a cutback, but everyone really, really made their blocks. I know uh, Wes Moyer is my uh, lead blocker, and he made a great block on it, and the whole wedge kicked him out, and I was able to get in the end zone. It felt great. Right, and then return number two, I mean, when you're going out there, are you thinking, let's do this again? I mean, because it's really improbable to get two in a game, never mind back to back. I was actually still a little tired from the first one, honestly. And uh, the second one was definitely a lot less work. The uh, hole was even more wide open than the first time. Um, I don't even think Wes had to hit anybody. He just ran right through and paved the way to the end zone. And it was really exciting. As exciting as that game was, and Brown themselves had some exciting moments, the loudest their fans got was when you were tackled on the next kickoff yeah. return, which was a decent return in of itself. They gave a bit of a sarcastic cheer. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I was kind of confused when I got up. I heard Brown cheering after I got tackled. It was kind of weird. But, yeah. <laughs> Talk about being a member of this team uh, as you head into the last two games of the season and being part of an offense that has so many weapons. I think, I think 13 different guys have caught passes. Eight different guys have caught touchdown passes. You, of course, on both of those lists. What's that like as a receiver to be part of such a diverse group? It's definitely really exciting. I know we have a lot of uh, a lot of offensive weapons at receiver. I mean, we have uh, Geo, Jordan Forney, um, even some freshmen that are getting some playing time, like Deion Randall and Cameron Sanquist, and uh, then obviously in the in the backfield like At and Mo. But um, I think everyone's just working really hard, and we're really excited going into the last two games. But um, it's just been really fun playing on a team like that. Now, who, you're still you know, one of the young guys on the team, even though you've got enough yeah. experience to be among the veterans on that offense. Uh, who are some of the guys you learned from, learned the ropes from when you came into Yale? Um, last year, Rich Scudelari was a quarterback, and he, um, he taught me a lot um, about the playbook, how to really become like a college receiver. Bree Lathan last year graduated. He taught me a lot, and definitely Jordan Forney this year. Who's, um, he's been starting for a while, and he's definitely shown me how to be a college receiver. When you watch pro games or maybe other college games, are the receivers you watch and study or admire what they do or just like to watch? Uh, definitely Wes Wilker on the Patriots. Um, I think he kind of fits my body type and uh, kind of my role on the team. Uh, he's like a slot receiver, kind of like me, and uh, I try to take after him in the way I play. Did you see him attempt an extra point yesterday? <laughs> that was pretty wild. You can do that? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> All hopefully right. they call him. It's a Wes Wilker <laughs> type thing, I guess, but yeah. uh, in that Patriots style. Um, in the classroom, you you still interested in being pre-med? Is that your goal? No, actually, uh, early, in, early in camp my freshman year, I, I decided that I don't think I could keep up with the pre-med track, but um, uh, I'm thinking about political science right now. It's certainly a hot topic to, to talk about and never boring here at Yale. Yeah, definitely. It's pretty cool. What have been some of your favorite parts of the overall Yale experience? Um, I would say it's probably like a cl cliche answer, but just the people. I mean, um, everyone on my team I've become really close with. We spend a lot of time together and um, just the relationships. I mean, you meet so many different people from all different parts of the world. I mean, my freshman year, the guy that lived across the room was from China. I mean, it was just, it was just really cool. So, talk about how you decided to come to Yale. Wow. Um, well, I guess my, my goal in the recruiting process, I really wanted to go to a big football school. And uh, I'm from Virginia, so I really looked at UVA and Virginia Tech for some of the big schools. And I was getting recruited um, by them a little bit. But I had been hearing more from the Ivy League schools. and. Uh, Virginia Tech and UVA never offered me, and uh, I came up here on my official visit to Yale, and I, I fell in love, and it's been history. I love it. Here we are. It's been yeah. very good history. So, Chris, be with you. Best of luck these last two weeks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, that is Chris Smith. Back with more from Maury's after this.